Your Excellency, Minister of Labour and Social Affairs of the Czech Republic, thank you with, for being with us here today for the launch of the Global Labour Resilience Index in Davos. And the Czech Republic is one of the stronger resilient labour markets in the world. It comes at uh, 22nd out of 145 countries. And we'd love to have your perspective on what makes the Czech Republic a, a strong uh, labor market today, and what could be some things that could improve in order to put you in the top 20? Well, uh, thank you very much for the invitation. Uh, you know, the current situation in the Czech Republic is very good. Uh, we uh, do have the highest uh, employment rate in the whole EU, or uh, if I could also say the lowest unemployment rate uh, in, in the whole EU, it's 2.9%. Uh, uh, percent. I think, uh, but there are two main areas what could be uh, done actually much better. Uh, the first thing is uh, when we look at the, the figures um, concerning the resilience of uh, labor markets, uh, we still have we sti still do have problem with um, reconciliation of family and work life. Uh, it means that especially uh, young women with uh, small children, uh, they uh, are not integrated in the labor market, um, you know, um, so good as we would wish. So uh, it, uh, you know, a lot of things uh, have to be done, uh, especially, um, you, know, my, um, you know, things like uh, preschool facilities, uh, we work on it actually in the Czech Republic. And the second thing is we still do have problem with, uh, with the generation 50 plus. So it means if, uh, you know, even the uh, very nice uh, situation on the labor market in the Czech Republic, if uh, somebody, you know, over 50, if, uh, you know, this generation does uh, lose its job or her or uh, his job, it, uh, it means it's very difficult to uh, get a job uh, again. So these are two main areas uh, for improvement in our country. Excellent, very clear. One of the um, areas also which was identified for the Czech Republic is you have such a low unemployment rate, which is a good thing, which also means that um, uh, there are skill gaps. There are some companies which are just not able to hire the right, uh, the right skills, and this could slow down the, the, the economy. And you're not the only country which is facing a situation like this. Um, any actions uh, taking place on this front? Yeah, that's true. Uh, you know, there is a government program. Uh, we try to get, uh, you know, skilled people from Ukraine. Uh, that This is working quite well. Uh, it's, it's a quite new program. But um, I have to say that as a social democrat, because I'm, um, uh, you know, um, from the left wing um, political spectrum, uh, we still try, you know, to... Um, actually use the domestic uh, uh, reservoir uh, for uh, for uh, for rail as i said you know people over 50 and uh, especially you know young women with small children because there is still um, i would say uh, a lot of people who could find jobs so yeah thank you very much uh, minister for being here we look forward to having you on the panel later on in the launch thank, thank you. you very much